welcome to this part of the computer architecture. Today we'll be talking about the division methodology or the division algorithm. We already agreed that we uh, are modeling everything inside the computer in terms of a shift, add, and some control. So how could we model the division in these operations? Uh, I know you know this um, uh, form from your high school uh, education. Here the, appears the dividend, the divisor, the quotient, and the remainder. We used to say, uh, to say that this was the long division uh, method. So, uh, the computer algorithm um, follows the steps uh, that is close to this long division. Let's take a look at the flowchart of the algorithm. Our start would be initializing the uh, uh, values we have. We have the divisor, the remainder, and the quotient. The quotient is initially zeros. Well, let me point to an important thing that the quotient register size is uh, half the divisor and the remainder. Uh, so if we, this is 32 bit, this is 64 and this is 64. That's because we initialize the left part of the divisor with our uh, divisor uh, value. And the, in the remainder, we initialize it, the, the right part of the remainder with the dividend. So we made use of the dividend and the divisor. Afterwards, we uh, go to the test part. We make we, we subtract the uh, uh, divisor from the remainder. So the remainder equals the remainder minus the divisor here. Afterwards, we uh, test the remainder. If we have a remainder that is greater than or equal to zero, we shift we, we, we shift logically left the quotient register and we set its uh, raised most bit to zero so it's q0 uh, uh, to one sorry so it's q0 is equal one all right so if if the remainder was less than the zero what would be uh, doing what will we be doing we will be restoring the original value we will be rolling back the remainder value. So we will be making remainder equal remainder plus divisor. Afterwards, we will be also shifting logical left the quotient register and setting its rightmost bit to zero. Our next step would be shifting the divisor register right one bit and keep uh, looping so when when do we st we stop the repetitions we stop the repetitions if we reached the 33rd repetition or when the uh, division convert when will the division convert when uh, 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 the, the divisor would be equal to uh, or uh, 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 less than the remainder. So let, let's take a look at the uh, example. We have the divisor uh, as 4 and the dividend as 6. So we initialize the left part of the divisor as 4. Uh, and uh, z 0, 1, 0, 0 in binary means 4. I, mean, I assume you know that quite well now. And the right part of the remainder would be equal to 6 which is the dividend 0 1 1 0 our next step would be subtracting the divisor from the remainder subtracting the divisor from the remainder he was obviously produce a negative value because the divisor is far 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 more bigger than the remainder so uh, here we know that the remainder is less than 0 so what we are doing yes we're rolling back everything we're setting the, uh, we're shifting the quotient logically left, left and setting its uh, zero bit to zero. So that's what we did. 
Afterwards, our next step is shifting the divisor register to the right one bit. And then we completed here one iteration. Then our next iteration would be the same. Starting, subtracting, shifting the quotient, setting the quotient to zero, shifting the divisor to the right, and uh, getting to the third uh, iteration. Uh, it would be also the same. I'm not saying the steps for the to avoid the redundancy. Until here, we have the same same uh, steps. In our fifth repetition, uh, we start by uh, subtracting the remainder uh, minus the divisor. The remainder here minus the divisor uh, would get a, a, a positive um, value. Here, uh, because we have a positive value, we uh, shift logically left the quotient one and set the uh, rightmost bit to one, all right? Uh, and uh, shifting, shifting the divisor right. At the end, we have the divisor uh, e equal to the remainder and we have the value we uh, needed. So uh, uh, if six over four is actually one with remainder of two that's typically what we have here remainder is two quotient is one thank you please leave your questions at the end of the video